So I did a broadcast like maybe a week or two ago about my Japanese eraser addiction. I've done a couple of broadcasts about my Japanese eraser addiction. And, um, and then somebody asked about mini erasers and I have tons and tons and tons and tons of mini erasers, but I used to store them in my like thematic tubs, you know, so I would have like the farm and the zoo and all that. And I had all my mini erasers in there and then I would just take them out whenever we did our theme. But my friend Jennifer from Simply Kinder, she had this great idea and I did a whole video about it uh, for storage so that you can grab your mini erasers quickly when you need to. So I shared that and I'll show it again tonight. Um, but when I started getting out all my erasers, I filled up one storage container. I think it has 30 drawers in it. I filled that up and I had a ton of erasers left. Um, and then people started asking me, where do you buy mini erasers? So I started looking around online to see if there was any that I didn't have already. And I found some. So I want to share some of those with you tonight. Uh, Lynette says she already got the St. Patrick's Day set I recommended. <laughs> um, ooh, Yahoo just says that a few weeks ago she was in Claire's. Oh, just yesterday she was in Claire's and they have buy three, get three free Japanese erasers. Ooh, I have since found them at Party City. They don't have a huge collection, but they have some. And I found out they carry the Japanese erasers at Oriental Trading too, which they didn't used to. But let me show you what I have tonight. So you may have been to the Target Dollar Spot or they call it the Bullseye Playground now because it's not just a dollar anymore. Um, but here's some erasers that I got recently. These are the pineapples, the rainbows, and the popsicles. And I don't know what popsicles are called in other places I forget but that might be a brand name here in the states it's like ice cream on a stick um, so the, the rubber erasers they're small so if you're working with kids who still put things in their mouth don't use them um, but my kids always know that we don't put these in our mouths yes sometimes they walk away that's fine they're because they're a dollar um, but Target Dollar Spot will have them seasonally every now and again. They had them at Christmas and they don't have any for St. Patrick's Day. Um, but they'll have these erasers. They just had the, um, oh, what did I just get there? The eggs, the Easter eggs and the bunnies and things like that. Um, so you can seasonally find them. I got some um, donuts and some, um, uh, what were the other ones I got there recently? They had a bunch. Oh, Valentine's, you know, things like that. They'll have them. They had Christmas trees and candy canes. So they'll have a few uh, selections there. They don't, you know, have just a million, but they have a few selections. And then you can collect them that way. Um, but here's the deal with mini erasers. So Target only started carrying them in the last couple of years. Um, back in somewhere around 1999, I know that makes me sound so old, right? Um, I discovered mini erasers. Um, from Oriental, it used to be called Oriental Trading and now it's Oriental.com. So it's actually raining mini erasers here in my studio right now. I have enough mini, erase, uh, mini erasers for everybody watching. <laughs> um, but I discovered these mini erasers because I was a teacher on a budget, okay? I had nothing in my classroom. There was a year when I had a classroom that had four walls. It had four big tables. It had 22 chairs, a teacher's desk and filing cabinet, and that was it. Um, so I had to do everything on my own, every single thing that the kids did in the classroom that came from me. So I discovered mini erasers from oriental.com and I started collecting them like crazy. And so some of the er mini erasers I have are years and years and years old. And um, I've been using them as math manipulatives primarily um, for all these years because they're inexpensive. You can get, if you buy them from Oriental, they come in what's called a gross. And a gross is 144. And this one is actually more than a gross. This is like, a, this is one I got from Oriental recently. This is 500. Um, so that's what 500 mini erasers look like. And then this is what a gross looks like of 144. Um, so if you go to oriental.com, and I don't work with them at all, um, they don't have a budget for that kind of thing, but um, they they have a bunch. Not like every single one under the sun, but they have a nice selection if you wanted to get started with mini erasers. The great thing about Oriental is that you can get a gross for four bucks. 
So you have to look closely, though, at the descriptions because they have a lot of different erasers. And sometimes it will say like 24 for six dollars. And you're like, what? But then when it, it comes to find out that they're larger um, so and they wouldn't work for a group of children because there weren't there just weren't enough. So a gross is usually good for a small group with room to spare for those ones that will walk off. So I used to store them in frosting containers, um, but then I saw this idea from Jennifer at Simply Kinder and I was like, oh, that's so much better. So um, here's one of some of the ones I got recently. So from Oriental, I got the polar bears. I didn't already have polar bears, so that's what a gross of polar bear mini erasers looks like. These are the Christmas ones, and I had the snowmen already, but I didn't have the snowflakes, so I needed to get my snowflakes. And then I bought, um, I used to have these insects. I had the ladybugs and the um, bees and the butterflies and the dragonflies. I had all of those, and somehow they just went away over the years so I reordered these from Oriental. In this big 500 pack I wanted this one because it has frogs and it had um, flowers that are just without the stem because I have flowers with the stem and they didn't last very long um, and it has fish and so I wanted the fish. They didn't sell the fish individually. Hey, Lauren. <laughs> Kara says she's addicted to erasers. Okay, so what I have tonight, now I have to clean up the mess because I just threw mini erasers all over the place. Um, <laughs> so I made a little printable pack to go with the butterflies. So the butterflies from Target, um, oops, they are, this is like a greenish color, a purple color, and this pinkish color okay so I made a set of printables and I'm going to turn the, I think I'm going to turn the camera around so that you can see them flat oh and here's the ones I got from Party City that are um, St. Patrick's Day they have the hat the shamrock the um, rainbow and the pot of gold and they're super cute and I, they're not quite as thin as the others these are thicker um, and these are also a gross 144 hey Jennifer's here um, so let me know what erasers you have if you're a mini eraser addict let me know in the comments what mini erasers you've collected in your collection just so I can make sure I didn't miss any and um, if you're new to collecting mini erasers and I like mini eraser collections because they're cheap you know Four dollars for a gross is it's a pretty good deal. We can teachers can usually spring for that, and then you can change the manipulatives up in your math center and for your math small group activities all the time. You know, for every week or two, you can have new erasers there, and the kids think that it's a new activity. <laughs> Little do they know, right? Um, <laughs> all right. Now, don't forget if you have any teaching friends. Or anybody that you think could use some of these ideas, go ahead, comment, share, and like. Other than math manipulatives, what else would you use? Oh, you can use them for all kinds of things. Um, I've seen people that have the um, outline of a letter, and then the kids just use the mini erasers to fill in the letter. They can do that. Um, and another thing you can do with mini erasers, now, if you've been following my Japanese eraser, addiction. You know, I use those for beginning letter sounds. You can totally use mini erasers for that too. I mean, butterfly, b and that could go in your B drawer. And then you could store a lot more because these are so much smaller. This is a ladybug that starts with an old sound. So then you could, then you could get into all the literacy stuff where the kids are using them for beginning sound activities and even more. Um, so, so where to get them? Tom just posted in the comments my three favorite places. Um, the Target Dollar Spot, Party City, and Oriental.com. Those are the three sources that I use most often. There are some other um, companies that sell a gross of the mini erasers, um, but I found that sometimes the prices there are a little bit more. Um, so I really like the $4 for 144 That That speaks to my teacher wallet, right? Um, Yes, um, hiding them in a sensory bin. That was one of my ideas. Absolutely. The, um, oh, I hate to let the cat out of the bag. But these, um, these little, uh, 
St. Patrick's Day ones, I'm going to hide in a sensory bin of green, uh, green rice or um, shredded green paper. And the kids can use tweezers or tongs to little, the little, not quite tweezers, but not quite tongs. You know what I mean? Those little, <laughs> they can use those to pick these out of the sensory bin with. Um, oh, you're welcome, Bobby. I'm glad you like them. Okay, let me turn this around. Okay, let's see. All right. All right, so for example, this is one that you can use with um, these little these little erasers here, okay? So what you could do was you could have the kids grab a handful. Now their handful's a lot smaller than my handful. Oh, I didn't really get a good mix there. So I'm gonna grab a handful and I'm gonna put them on my graph. And now I can go ahead and I can start putting them on my graph. And then of course, after I have them all in place, then I can count them. And this is really hard to do when I'm looking through the lens of the... <laughs> okay, so now I can go ahead and count them. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. Which column has more? Well, this column and this column have more than this one, but these two columns have the same. So how many more would we need over here to get to be the same as these other two? We would need one, two more. And how many more would we need to get to five? One, two, three. We'd need three more to get to five. And in this column, we'd only need one more to get to five. And over here, we'd only need one more to get to five. <laughs> um, so this will be a freebie that I will um, put out on pre-K pages. <laughs> That's great, Becky. I'm glad you like it. Um, so I'll put this in my pre-K pages. Well, I'm going to put it, of course, in the teaching tribe for the members. That will totally be for you all. That'll be there probably tomorrow. Um, but next week in my pre-K pages email, I will send you a link to this so you can have it too. I made it just for the butterflies right now. Um, but I can also make a blank one so you could use it with any mini erasers, I suppose. So um, let me know if you like having the blank option. So make sure that you're on my email list. Tom will drop a link. If, you, if you're already on my list, don't worry. I will send you that email and it'll come to you. If you're not already on my list and you don't get my weekly emails, go ahead and sign up. You also get the, um, the free, my free ebook. Um, Pre-K Teaching Hacks, Seven Simple Ways to Save Time in the Classroom and Get Weeks of Your Year Back. Lynette likes the blank one. Okay. All right. So there's one option. So graphing, right? And graphing is also part of data collection in analyzing data as well, or data. Um, here's another one. This is one I used to do in my classroom all the time. It didn't have butterflies on it. It was just blank. And this one is great for counting. So they just counting and numeral identification, right? Doesn't have to be any particular color. And they count them. And so you can have them count them for you. How many are here? One. How many are here? One, two. How many are here? One, two, three. You get the picture. Um, so this was something we would do in math centers. And I'll send you that blank one so you can have a copy. And then 10 frames. Um, 10 frames are really important for building that fluency within 10. Um, but little ones can start with five as well. So on a 10 frame, obviously, you would cut these in half. There's a little line here to cut. And you can print them on cardstock and laminate them however you would like to do it. And then they can take turns pulling them from a pile or you could put them in like a little booklet form and each child could have a booklet with 10 pages in it. Um, however you want to do it, whatever works best for you. There is no one hard and fast rule for how you have to do it. Um, you could leave them without cutting them and put them in page protectors, whatever you would like. Um, yeah, I'll make sure there's a blank graph. I'll make sure all the pages are blank for you. Um, yeah, and I'll keep, I'll do one with no numbers in case anyone has like some kind of a, a different way that they make numbers, you know. I know that there some people use, you know, um, what is that called? Um, the loopy font thingy. <laughs> I 
I'm losing my mind. I can't think of it. Denelian. And they might make their numbers different. Okay, and so then there's patterns, and I can certainly make this one blank. I had this one on my um, website for like 10 years, um, but it didn't have eight in a row. I think it only had six, and I felt like it needed to have more. So I took the old one down, and I'll put a blank one of this up. And this one goes with the colors of the um, butterflies. So they can start making the pattern, right? And then they have to continue the pattern. So um, one of your early childhood standards might, might be um, recognizes and extends patterns or identifies and extends, identifies, creates and extends patterns. So um, then they have to, afterwards, then they have to start extending, right? so they can extend the patterns. If your kids are not to this point yet, or even this point, you can just cut these into strips. So print them out, laminate them. This one is blank for whatever pattern they would like to make. So, um, so there's patterning or what comes next, and they can do that with those. And this one is sorting. And I've done this with pasta too, the shaped pasta. Um, in my, um, one of my printables somewhere on my site. This is with the um, the seasonal pasta that they have, like the you know the macaroni and cheese with the different shapes. You can sort that too, just like mini erasers. And so in this one, they would just take all the erasers that they have. Now each kid would have a different number of them, right? And they could sort them into the different boxes here. And then when they are done sorting them, then they can count how many they have, one, two, and they can try and write in here, or they could draw dots or tally marks, whatever your preferred method is or whatever you're working on. So they can count three here, and they can try and write the number three, and they have four here, and they can try and write the number four, or they could do tally marks or dots or whatever it is that you want them to work on. Yay, Tina! Yes, sorting is awesome. And then there's a smaller one if you want to use it to go up to 10. And um, not all of the mini, now these little butterflies do fit, but sometimes the mini erasers can be just a tad too big for 10, but that's another way to do it. So those are some of the printables that I have. Come on. Oh. And I promised I would show you this. And so this is um, the idea from Jennifer at Simply Kinder. This is the storage box that she uses. And if you go to Simply Kinder and you search mini eraser, she has a link to that storage box on Amazon there. I mean, it's just drawers. It's like, you know, craft or nuts or bolts type of storage. And then inside each one, um, I have all the different erasers in there. How cool is that? Oh, I have to show you these. I put them in here before we went live. For all my Texas friends, I have been looking for Texas-themed erasers for about 17 years. <laughs> and the closest I ever came was pencil toppers that looked like boots and um, hats. But they were really big. And I could only buy, they were really expensive too. They were like 12 for five bucks or something. But I just found these, at, I think at Oriental or Party City. I can't remember which one. Um, but they have the little cowboy erasers with the boots and the hats and the sheriff's badge. <laughs> um, one packet, that's a good question, Mary Ellen. Um, one target pack fits in each of these drawers, but um, they have different styles of these drawer things. So you can get the ones with the bigger drawers if you prefer. So some of these I have two drawers full, you can see, because I have more than one packet. So let's see if I have one that has two. Yeah, like my eggs. I have two drawers of eggs. So yeah, they sell these in different combinations. So you can look and see which one meets your needs. Do I ever buy from eBay? I do sometimes if I really need something and I can't find it, but the shipping prices on eBay are so crazy now. And some of the sellers are not as reliable. Hi, from Brazil. <laughs> I'm so glad you like them. I'm glad you like them, Gretchen. Hi, Joanne from Vancouver. 
All right. Um, there we go. Tracy says, I want to go to Target right now. <laughs> well, let me tell you, Target doesn't, they, they, they sell out fast because mini eraser mania, right? Um, teachers are in Gaga land over these mini erasers. So they're really hard to find. So I have like six different targets that I go to. And so I got one bag of pineapple erasers at one target and one at another. And then I was at Target um, this afternoon and they had two bags of the pineapples and one of them had been opened and then spilled like throughout all the bins and I was like oh man some teacher could use those <laughs> you should pick those up and put those in a bag and sell them um, so they can be really hard to find so I if I can I I probably instead of going from target to target would rather um, just order them from Oriental or Party City or something like that because I don't think that's as prevalent Tina's watching from Louisiana. Yes, the, the erasers are just so affordable because we just don't get any money for supplies. Uh, Lynette says she has her erasers in baby formula containers and empty Parmesan containers. Wonderful idea. Serena is here from the Teaching Tribe. Victoria from Lakeland, Florida. <laughs> Di says, do they know me by name at Target? Well, I shop at six different Targets, so I'm going to say no, but they, they might know me as the crazy Target, Target Dollar Spot stocking lady because I swear I went through every single bin at the largest Target in my area today, and I spent a good 30 minutes digging before I found the second bag of pineapples. Um, Lachey says she's from Fort Worth and loves those rainbow erasers. Hey, Carolina from Costa Rica. Allison from New Jersey. So those are some of my ideas. So I'm, I would... Um, and you don't need printables for this either. I mean, you can just have them do it without a printable. But if you want this free one, I'll put it in my um, it, on pre-k pages, and then if you're on my list, I'll send it to you next week, so you can have them sort, and you can have them pattern, and you can have them do the ten frames. And ten frames are. Um, Really important for building that fluency within 10. Hey, Serena. I got that idea from Jennifer at Simply Kinder, the um, little storage container for the erasers. So if you go to Simply Kinder and search um, mini erasers, that's the mini eraser craze, and she'll have a link to, to that there for you. You can find them on Amazon. And I know Michael's had something similar not long ago. If you get a good coupon, you could do that. So right now, Siri has recorded everything I've said. <laughs> She's going to start playing it back to me. Stop, Siri. She's crazy. Okay. And you can also um, you can also have them count them in the mini erasers. Yes. Sonia says they're great to pick up with tweezers for fine motor. I've actually also put them in, um, put the mini erasers in a sensory bottle with, you know, colored rice or sand or whatever you have. And then um, they can shake them. You can put them in there for the beginning sounds. Like you can put in the um, the rainbow and the pot and the hat for St. Patrick's Day. And then um, they can shake up the sensory bottle. And then they can look for the things that start with the different sounds. Um, a printable for the letters. You mean for the mini erasers? No, that's a good idea, though. Um, oh yes, Tracy, that's brilliant. Yes, um, she's, uh, Tracy says that um, she has her kids that need fine motor work feed the donuts and the cupcakes to the tennis ball guys. That is awesome. Um, so go to Pre-K Pages, guys, and search um, fine motor math, and you'll see a picture of my, um, of my little eraser guy, so you know what. There. All right, I'm going to put you back over here. <laughs> My hand was getting tired holding the iPad. Um, Sonia says they're her holiday go-to. Yay! Yeah, the mini erasers are very affordable. And that's one reason why teachers everywhere are going crazy for them. And like I said, um, if you have kids who still put things in their mouths, and then don't use these because they are tiny. Um, you can see how big they are in my hand here. Um, 
So uh, I've used them in sensory bins. You can hide them in shredded paper, um, rice, whatever it is that you have. And then the kids can um, take them out with tongs. Oh, let me show you real quick something else I got too. It's not a mini eraser, but it could be used with mini erasers. So I was at CVS today. Oh, and they had, in their Valentine clearance section, they had dinosaur erasers and there was another one, 75% off. So they were started out as $250 for six, and now they're 75% off. So here's these little chickies. <laughs> these are plastic eggs, right? And these, I got these at CVS. And you could totally use mini erasers, and you could write a number on each egg, or each chick, I'm sorry, and um, or draw dots, and then they would have to put that number of mini erasers inside. So if this one had a two on it, I could put one, two, you know, and then I think hiding the eggs in the sensory bin and letting them open them and, and count objects inside, it's even more fun. They love to look for um, the eggs in the sensory bin and count things in there. And I know what I was going to tell you before we go. Um, so these were at CBS. Oh yeah, you can, Rebecca, you can get something like this at Home Depot too, the um, storage bins. Yes, you can get those at places like Home Depot too and in Walmart. I had a hard time finding one at Walmart recently. Um, they usually don't have the white ones though. Um, oh, so I was showing you before my little erasers from Party City for St. Patrick's Day. So over at Pre-K Pages, we have those new St. Patrick's Day literacy and math packets that are available now. If you're not a member of the Teaching Tribe, you can go over and grab them there. If you're a member of the Teaching Tribe, they are already over in the Tribe for you. And then I have another new printable coming to the Tribe um, this week as well. I'll probably publish it to everybody else next week. And then I'll send these um, these printables for the mini erasers. I'll send those out to people on my list and I'll put these in the tribe too um, the next time I send out an email to my pre-k pages list. So make sure that you are on the list. Um, Lauren says, do you have the blank what comes next pattern cards in the vault? Lauren, they are part of every one of the math um, packets over in the tribe. And they're just a blank grid, but they're not separated. Let's see if I can find here. I'll show you. So they're not separated by white space. They're all together like that. But in every single math packet, I have a patterning activity just like that. So, um, oh, thanks, guys. Thanks for stopping by tonight. Um, so happy shopping. I hope you find some mini erasers. And I love knowing... Um, where you find them, if there's any other sources out there that I haven't mentioned that you'd like to share, I'd love to hear about them. I'll add them to my list. And, um, <laughs> hey, Bobby. All right. Thank you, Mary. Thanks for stopping by, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. And if you know anyone who could use some mini eraser math ideas, go ahead and share, like, whatever it is that you prefer to do to let them know about this broadcast. So I'll be back with you um, next Monday night. And you can also sign up for text messages if you want to get reminders of when we'll be live. And Tom will drop the um, link for that in the comments below. Oh, yay. Um, <laughs> you can text 81010, and in the message uh, place where you would normally put the message, you type at P-R-E-K-P-A-G, and then the next time we go live, you'll get a text message letting you know. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Your target is lame. Yeah, I have to go to six different targets to get all the erasers, Pam. Yeah, yeah. My, if you're in the area, my favorite... I'll tell you where my favorite target is. I won't tell you live. Just message me. <laughs> but it is um, usually I can find things there that I can't find anywhere else. All right, guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.